really hard to choose, guys, and we wouldn't be in so many places, and there were so many other ones that we loved. Big open sites, friendly people, full yeah. hookups. The highlight of that resort was what? Four adorable dogs that greet you when you come. Yes, they bark um, a lot. They, as soon as we walked in there, the most down-to-earth, like, fancy resort. Hey, everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So in the past five years of RVing, we have traveled to quite a few campgrounds. We always try to go to somewhere new every season. We want to explore, we want to bring you guys those campground reviews. So, in the past five years, what have been our favorite campgrounds? In this video, we're gonna to talk to you and show you what our favorite campgrounds were. So be sure to stay for the whole video, guys. Number five is our favorite place, but it's a place we've never stayed. The different campgrounds that we're gonna share with you today, they're actually all different from high end to little dry Marks. camping. Yeah. yeah, we've loved so many. These are in no particular order. All right, so the first one, number one, is going to be Redgate Farms in Savannah, Still Georgia. Still love that place. We visited there back in 2019. It was a part of a long road trip that we did. We went to Florida, we went to Virginia Beach, but we went there also, and it was beautiful. They have about 20, well, back then they had about 21 sites, and it was quiet. They have, it's a farm, obviously, so they have their animals. I still remember one of the horses' spirit. It was so beautiful. The pool we had almost to ourselves almost every day. Yeah. It was so quiet. It was such a gorgeous area, too, not far from downtown Savannah. Big open sites, friendly people, full yeah. hookups, great place to run. Just a hot, and definitely hot right, in the summer. Right, yeah. But uh, we're glad we chose that place because it wasn't crowded, and it was just, we, we love it. We will definitely go back yeah. there. So one tool that we actually use to book a lot of campgrounds that we go to is called campspot.com. Yeah, campspot.com is completely free for the user. You can book and view over 200,000 campgrounds across the United States. So and yes, you heard that right. It is free. It is free it for is the user. It is free. I know people sometimes don't believe that, but it is, yeah. For more information on campspot.com, we'll put the link Below. So the second place is a harvest host which we started this year and that's going to be grain bin commodities in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Very good. You never get that right. I had to think about <laughs> it. So why did we like this place? Number one, the landscape was outstanding. Oh yeah. god. You want peace? That was peaceful. Yeah, it's set on a farm, a huge farm. I mean, thousands of acres. It, it, was, it was it was large. And then it's right off the highway. Good cellular signal, but most importantly, the people were really, really nice. And the main attraction is their bakery. And they right. got some good stuff at that bakery. Oh, that bakery was like to the nines. And what else did they have too? They had four adorable dogs that greet you when you come. Yes, they bark um, a lot, they bark but they, a lot. they yeah. just want to say hi. They're all bark, no bite, but they're just so cute. And it, that was a wonderful stay. I wish we could have stayed longer, but being a harvest host, it was one night. So it's not simply a campground, but it's definitely a highlight of, of our stays. Number three is going to be the Buena Vista, RV, actually Buena Vista Motor Coach Resort, which is in Orange Beach, Alabama. Now we just hit that not long ago, this summer in July. And that was our first time at a, at a high-end resort and it definitely measured up. It was beautiful, amazing people. The highlight of that resort was what? The pool? Yeah. Yeah, the pool's amazing. The Lazy River, I mean, it was just gorgeous. They have beautiful coach houses there that you can stay in, which we didn't stay in, but. Yeah, you're right across the street from the beach. Everything is right there. Great food, great people, close, you know, off the main highway. Right. You have it all right there and you're about like 15 minutes from Pensacola. Definitely probably go back down there if we're oh, ever in yeah. the area. Yes. Uh, but that would be our, our third that we really like. And another thing too there, they had the Alabama, the Alabama Gulf State Park. So we've yes. been biking there a couple times. There is so much to do in that area. Number four is going to be Prophetstown State Park, and where is that? Lafayette, Indiana. We stayed there on our way to Liquid Spring back in 2021 mm -hmm. uh, to yeah. have our Four Corner system installed. That was a great place. We yeah. were so surprised at how nice that state park was. I think they had just redone a lot of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, beautiful sites, level, Showers huge. are huge, clean, full hookups. I think it was like 25 bucks a night. Yeah. We actually said, damn, we wish we could have stayed here a little I bit know, longer. I know, I know. But if we're ever out in that area again, that is a place we're gonna stay. Absolutely. If you're enjoying the video so far, we invite you to hit the subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you know when our next video comes out. Also, we have a private Facebook group. We want you to join it. It's called Endless RVing RVers Coming Together. And don't forget to join our 
free monthly newsletter. The link is below. So number five, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, is a place that we've never stayed, but we loved it so much that we actually bought a lot there. And that is Mayaka River Motor Coach Resort. Yeah. This place is gorgeous. As soon as we walked in there, we knew that we could see ourselves spending our winters there once we're retired. Yeah, you don't have to take our word for it. Just go read their reviews. It is one of the nicest RV resorts in Florida, if not in the country. It's it's really, really nice in Port Charlotte, Florida, so right. the West Coast. And I think one of the things that we loved about it so much, the feel that we got, and it even says it on their website, it's kind of like the most down-to-earth, like fancy resort, right? A lot of times you go into these higher-end resorts and they can have an aura about them. I some we've been in mm -hmm. i wasn't crazy about them this is very down to earth more our style but you're still getting those beautiful amenities they have a gorgeous lap pool which is yes intense. that was a big selling point they yeah, got they yeah. have a 25 yard lap pool i'm like oh yes yeah the sites are beautiful our site is right on the the pond there with a fountain and and you have what they're known for too is the views of the sunsets mm -hmm. we're actually facing the sunset we will be spending some time there in the upcoming probably year so we're kind of really excited about that. While we're not there, because people might say, why'd you buy it if you're not going there? While we're not there, we rent it out. Uh, it was, and it's pretty much rented out most of the winter, but there are spots available occasionally. We'll put the link below if you're interested. But yeah, we absolutely love that place. It's just like a sense of peace when we go there. Yeah. We actually can't wait to go back there in January to check it out mm -hmm. when it's, uh, you know, I guess prime season. So those are our five favorite RV campgrounds slash resorts. Let us know in the comments below what are your favorite places. Yeah, and it was really hard to choose, guys. And we went in so many places, and there were so many other ones that we loved, but those are the ones that stand out. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.